will begin momentarily. Please follow the staff's instructions and swiftly make your way towards the game hall. Players, welcome to the third game. For this game, you will play in teams. All players, please divide yourselves into teams of 10 people. Your time limit will be 10 minutes. 10 minutes. We need to get a bunch of men who are well built. Okay. What are you thinking? Our team already has a girl and an older guy. I'm thinking we better get more men first. The boss, excuse me. Look, this guy wants to join us. Hey, go find more guys. Excuse me, sir. If you're not on a team yet, perhaps you would like to join ours? The time for forming your teams is over. All players, please line up with your teammates at the entrance to the game hall. Hold on. We're not gonna stay in here, though? Spirit. Tug of war. 
needs more than just raw strength. Well, then what's it about, huh? We just go out and speak to them? All you need is a good strategy in tug of war and combined with good teamwork. You'll be able to win when you are against stronger teams. You can barely stay standing, old man. So shut up and keep all your strength, okay? <clears throat> Wait a minute. Let's hear what the old man says. <sighs> okay. When I was young, we always liked tug of war. It's a game I know well. And back then, I would always win. Even if there was a wrestler on the other team, and it seemed the odds were stuck against us. Listen closely, and I'll tell you how my team and I were able to win even when it seemed impossible. First off, having a good leader is very important. The person is at the front and keeps an eye on how the other team is performing. And the rest of the team focuses on the back of their leader's head and follows their lead. If the leader seems weak or looks like their spirit is beginning to falter, then the game is already over. And then, at the end of the rope, you'll need to have someone strong and dependable, like the anchor of a ship. Finally, once the game begins, for the first 10 seconds, you have to hold your ground. You should lean back, practically lie down. Push your lower abdomen up to the sky as hard as you can, and throw your head back to the point where you can almost see the growing of the person behind you. If you do that, the other team won't be able to pull us to their side. Just hold like this for 10 seconds. Then the opposing team will start to get frustrated because they are thinking, why won't they budge? Because they believe that they were much stronger. If you can hold out for that long, you will be able to catch a moment when your opponents falter and the rhythm breaks. Now's our chance! <laughs> Oh, my God. 